One of the things I've discovered about paint while I've been doing Art Attack is that you can put it onto paper using just about anything. And one of the simplest of all is cardboard. If you just cut out a piece of cardboard, you can just use it to slop paint on, like that. And you can move it around into shapes like that. And you can use it to do straight lines on the edge, like that. And you can even create different effects. Watch this twist effect. There we go. Place it there and give it a spin one way and the other way. And there you get a sort of crazy twist. And if you cut it into various shapes, you can even create patterns. Watch this. There we go. And it's great fun to do. And believe it or not, as well as cardboard, I've also used all of these things to paint with. They all create different effects and they're all brilliant fun to do. Take a piece of thick paper or thin card and just draw some very simple cloud shapes onto the card. Now, cereal box card is absolutely perfect for this. And the idea is to draw very simple cloud shapes like that and then cut them out so you have some cardboard cloud shapes and you just place them onto a piece of white drawing paper like that and then take an old piece of sponge or even a scrunched up ball of tissue paper and dip that into some watered down paint or ink. Now you can use ink for this but I've got some watered down paint here but lots of water into your paint or ink, make it nice and runny, and then carefully holding the clouds in place with your finger, dab your sponge around those card clouds onto the paper, like that. Just going all the way around your card. And you can use nice bright blues for this, nice bright sky blues, or you could even use pinks or reds or oranges or even purples, any of those colours that you get in the sky at the end of the day. You know, those fantastic sunset colours. Just make sure your card stays in place. And when you've gone around all your card clouds, just very carefully remove the card from the paper. One, two there. You can do as many as you like. And another one there. And there you have a cloudy sky effect. And here's a good idea. If you just get your finger and just, just smudge some of these clouds around the edges to create a nice fluffy cloud effect like that. And do the same on all of the clouds and then leave them to dry and when they're dry they're really versatile because you can use them as a background to lots of different things. Now I've done quite a big one here with lots of clouds on it and look what I've done here. I've drawn a skyline onto a little piece of card and I've cut it out and folded it and you get this fantastic 3D effect along the edges. And look at that. Look at that cloudy sky there. That works brilliantly, doesn't it? Oh, what about this? You can use these cloudy skies for cartoons. And they look really good because they're bright blue. And there's a cartoon aeroplane. Or you could even do your cloudy sky at night or just as the sun is going down. Look at those rich reds and oranges. And you could even cut out some magazine photos to create a picture like that. Brilliant, isn't it? Try it yourself. A sponge cloudy sky. <laughs>